today I have a guest. Emily reached out to me and she had a piece of furniture that she wanted to paint. She pulled a picture off of Pinterest and sent it to me. So we're gonna simulate this look today. This is Emily. Hi. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is inspect the condition of this piece of furniture that she brought in before we get started painting. So Emily, on the top, I see there's some scratching and some water rings and things like that. So we're gonna take care of some of those issues. Most of them don't feel like they're too bad. So I think uh, cleaning and just the surface uh, painting will take care of those issues. But then there's uh, something over here, I guess it's on both sides. So someone must have driven a nail in here at some point. So it's kind of sharp. So we're gonna address that as well. We'll probably hammer it in and use a little Dixie mud um, to, to take care of that. And then around the front, uh, now we're using some different knobs that Emily brought in and that's actually gonna be the inspiration for our whole uh, color scheme. But the drawers push in a little far. So we don't want that to be uh, a problem when the piece is finished, but we're going to uh, address that when, when we're all done with the piece. So other than that, we're gonna get, gather our supplies and get started. I've gathered everything we need here and we're using this knob as an inspiration. We're gonna leave a few of the original and we're gonna replace about six, I believe, of the uh, knobs on the, the top of the dresser. So based on the colors in here, this is why, how we made our color selections. And so Emily is basically taking a class from me today, but I love that you're adventurous in your color choice. So the inspiration piece that you picked had more of a turquoise tone, but that's okay. We're going to do our own thing. And this is one of those bold colors that I'm just so thrilled you picked. It's Dixie <laughs> Belle's cobalt blue. And we're going to pair it with um, fluff, which is a white, and it's really a good match with this knob. Um, and also, on the bottom, this piece kind of fades to a natural wood, but uh, on the inspiration piece, the wood is a lot darker. The, the piece uh, that you have here, I actually like the bottom of this a lot better, but it's more orangey in tone. So we're gonna darken it up a little bit using um, Tobacco Road uh, Voodoo Gel Stain. But before we do any of that, we're gonna clean it. And we use Dixie Belle's White Lightning for that. It's a powdered cleaner. And what I do is I mix it in a sprayer bottle um, and then we just spray it on and wipe it off. But the important step to this is the second part is then rinsing it with water. That's really important because you still get more, you, you won't believe something looks relatively clean and you get so much dirt from it. <laughs> um, we're gonna need a couple brushes because we're gonna do a blend um, in the top, so we're gonna use a few brushes and we're gonna use also a blending brush to blend those colors together. So those will be each for the colors and then that one's kind of neutral. We're gonna use the Mr. Bottle with that too because this is kind of a drippy look. So we're just gonna kind of wanna use that water to help that paint go down the front of the dresser. And then when we're all done, we're gonna seal it and protect it with wax. And we'll use Dixie Belle's clear wax, and then we'll use a little grunge gray to give it a little bit of drama. And we'll need a couple brushes for those. And we'll also need some paper towels or rags. So let's get started. Okay, we've given this a thorough cleaning. Emily's gone over the whole piece, and we've repaired our condition issues. And we are about ready to start. We're leaving the knobs in the bottom because we're gonna actually paint over those. It's only the top ones that we're replacing. I love the bottom of this piece. I love the sweet little scallops at the bottom. I think it's gonna be a really pretty piece. Okay, Emily's gonna get started painting this piece. She's using a premium chip brush from Dixie Belle. Uh, we are using Voodoo Gel Stain just simply to darken up uh, the stain that's already on this piece because we're going to reveal some of the original wood. So she's going with the grain and normally this product is in um, a squeeze bottle and 
when it's on a flat surface, we just squeeze it out. But since it's on a vertical surface, um, we're just painting over it with a brush. We just squeeze some into a, a dish and then we're just using it to um, paint over the surface. We're painting over the knobs. And um, just kind of working that stain in. And then once we get the whole drawer front, actually, uh, normally I'd tell you to wipe it back, but I think that in this case, we should just let it dry. Okay. But you want to take your brush into those grooves once you get on the side and get, get it in there. And you do want to make sure um, that you're getting kind of like around the frame of it as well, because even though we're fixing that drawer uh, issue, if, if there is a little that peaks on the side, you just want it to be um, looking good. And again, we're just doing the bottom part of this. And some of that paint that we're going to use on the top is going to drip down into this. So we want to make sure that this coat is dry before we move on to the next step. All right, Emily, are you ready to get started with the fluff? Okay. All right, so I gave you a brush to use today, and that is a brush from the dollar store. Um, it's not a bad brush to use uh, if you, you know, need to go out and get a brush, but I'm gonna have you start with that, and then it's painful to watch. So I'm gonna switch you over to a Dixie Bell <laughs> brush, and I want you to let me know already if you can tell the difference that's slightly damp okay and just dip the brush and get started okay now when you're working over those areas yeah you want to work with the uh with the lines of the furniture so do you notice a difference yes i do notice a difference uh, <laughs> it's easier to apply it's smoother in general um, the coat looks gorgeous in comparison. Okay. Well, that's, that's uh, good information. Yeah, I, I agree with you on all those things. And another important thing about the Dixie Belle brush is, uh, or having a good brush is that, um, it holds a lot more paint yes. with the other one. You will be dipping constantly and it would also be leaving lines in your, um, in your paint. Whereas this is just giving you a nice finish. Now we're ready to blend a little paint. So what we're gonna do is uh, work both of these paints together. So Emily, I'm gonna work on this side a little bit and kind of give you the, the how-to and then let you go ahead and, and work on it. So when you blend paint, you want it to be 
uh, both colors to be wet. So we're just gonna kind of, because we sort of made a dividing line and our inspiration picture, we just kind of want it to look like it's coming down on this a little bit. So we're just gonna do a little bit and kind of give it a more of a, an uneven edge. So just kind of give it a little bit of, as if it's coming down onto this, but not too much because we don't want to go too far. So the paint's wet and now we're going to introduce our other color using another brush. And this we're kind of going to be a little more dramatic and put this paint down in and up onto that. So it's okay that we're getting the fluff on the cobalt and the cobalt on the fluff. <laughs> We just want to kind of work it like that. So then we have this nice fluffy new, neutral brush. This is an oval medium and it's a perfect brush for this. But we're going to spray with this mister. And we're just going to kind of work this paint. And that's where we're getting that cool effect. So in here we'll just do that a little bit. And just kind of brush up in there and when you feel it drag a little bit you just want to wet it some more this piece has a lot of drippy effect so we're going to get in a few drips and that's cool this is going to look so neat with those knobs i just love the way this is looking already i love the way that looks i don't want to touch it anymore so um, when you're working with your neutral brush um, i'm going to get a little paper towel here to keep i think you have them over there mm -hmm. we're going to keep that as is neutral so we're going to keep wiping it off so just add a little more of the fluff and that looks good let's do a section at a time and then do um, with the cobalt isn't this a glorious color it is. I love it. <laughs> yeah it just kind of yep Yeah, and your inspiration didn't go too far up into, so I, you know, would yeah. kind of, and you, your line doesn't have to be perfect or even either. So I like that. It looks good. You can do that. You can even go like across in that section, kind of keeping that. Absolutely. Yep. Dark yep. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Now it's time for a little misting. Okay. Now here's your neutral brush. We're keeping that sort of wiped off a little. And yeah, I would keep your strokes up here, kind of going up that way. Beautiful, I love it. And you wanna get these into the, I think we need a little more yeah. mist. Just wanna keep it wet. This allows you to really express yourself because you can see areas that you want to be darker. You can see it if you see it forming something mm -hmm. and that means something to you. I love what you did there. Let's keep your neutral brush neutral and go ahead and work on a little bit more with the fluff. See how fast this piece is going? Oh yeah, I'm really excited to see the final product. <laughs> yeah. Oops. I'd go ahead and work the whole way oh, to the okay. end. Yeah. Your paint's wet enough and... Okay. That looks super good. Okay. We're gonna go hard with the paint. All right. I like your spirit. The more color, the better. Yeah, and you can build up that color too. I would love to build it up. I'd love to make it bigger. Yeah, what I would do, because this looks so great in there mm -hmm. and that looks so great down there, mm -hmm. is when you build up, I'd let it dry. And when you build up, build up in this line in the middle. Okay. Or you can go in a couple places in here and just make it a little darker. But you're doing a fabulous job. I love that you went first time and you're just going <laughs> full on artistic painting and I love it. Okay. So. You're an adventurous soul. I try. 
This kind of painting scares a lot of people. And you're just going after it. What is life without some great risks? <laughs> Well, I can tell Emily is going to be a fantastic painter. <laughs> She's going to keep working on this piece. This piece is looking great. Now we're going to add some drama with some wax. Whenever we add some dark wax, we want to start with a little clear wax so that we can float it on there. Plus it gives the surface a really creamy feel. So we're just going to use a big stencil brush and just put it in the wax and just go over the surface, all the details. You can be generous with it. I'm just going around the frame first and then just kind of filling in the middle. And I'm gonna do one section and then I'm gonna hand it off to you and let you do a section, but I'm gonna show you the gray wax before I do. Okay, so we have that pretty well done and I think we're okay to set that on there. And I'm just gonna take a paper towel and just wipe back some of that wax. I can't wait to see the dark wax and all these details. Okay, so we just pulled off most of that. Now I'm gonna take a little stencil brush and some uh, grunge gray wax. I think that's a great color to use on here. And we're just gonna get some wax on here and then we're just going to go in the details here in the corners and it looks a little scary at first but don't be scared because we're going to wipe it back so i always like to get the corners and i also like to get in the area where that knob's going to be actually just kind of work your way around just get in all the details and this fun place right here Okay, and now we're going to see what happens when we take it and wipe it back. Just a little drama, right? Mm -hmm. And what's really cool too is the reason we use this clear wax. Let's say we get an area and we feel like, oh boy, there's too much wax on there, too much dark. We can actually use the clear wax as an eraser and it'll pull back that dark wax. But isn't this cool? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know. I love it. Is there anything that you think is too dark or dramatic here? I think I have to see the whole thing before. Before you okay? make that decision. Yes. But let me just show you here. Sure. Go ahead. Let's just say we just wanted to pull a little bit more of that color off there. Okay. Just a little bit. See how the clear yes. wax just pulls back and, and lightens that, lightens like that. that color. Yes. Yeah. So um, you can do that at any point, but I think it looks pretty cool. And note the difference. Feel yes. that, and now feel this. Wow. Yeah, and what you can do is wait until the next day and come back with a nice soft rag and buff it. I like it. I hand you. <laughs> the key to the city. The key now. to the city, yes. Okay. So we're going to let Emily continue to wax, and I can't wait until we show you the final product. so much for watching today. If you like this video, 
How about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends? If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at levintagedecor.company and on Instagram, we're levintagedecor and on Facebook, we're levintagedecoraltuna. Stay well.